art gives us everything and you take it in immediately. So the effect is instantaneous, whatever kind of emotional impact it has on you. Art is known for the inner workings of beauty, but how it affects us and how we choose to express it is a major component in our lives. Art is communication. So uh, what do you want to talk about? What do you want to, uh, to say? It's not just about the image. So, you know, that's in the beginning. That's our, that's, those are, that's our words. Like It's a visual language. So what do you want to say about your art? What's important to you? What do you care about? Wanda Sullivan is an art teacher at Spring Hill College, and she has a master's in fine arts. She sees fine arts as an outlet for anyone struggling with anxiety or depression. Some fine art mediums can be music, writing, sculpting, or painting. I've heard all kinds of stories about how art helps people get through different difficult situations because it's innate in us to want to create. Art can be a creative outlet to express feelings or emotions. One of Wanda's students feels that her artwork allows her to do just that. It's like a relief, yeah. It's like if I'm stressed out or had a bad day or upset about something, like I don't have to think about that anymore and I can just think about my art. Mary is an art major at Spring Hill College preparing for her senior seminar, which will feature her personal paintings in the exhibit. For Mary, it's important to make sure every detail in her collection is correct, but to also enjoy doing it. All of my work is not objective or what people would call abstract art, so for me it is a representation of my emotions and spirituality. And while I'm painting, I don't have like I'll like think ahead of time what I'm going to paint, but I don't have like a mapped out plan and everything is really free flowing and automatic whenever I'm in the process of painting. Whether you are a professional painter or not, you can still use art as an outlet. Art is something that everyone can do, regardless of supplies or skill levels. You know, that's why I love art, because you don't need technology with a pencil, an eraser, and paper. You can do so much. It's kind of like you have a blank canvas and anything's possible. Like even at home when I do like doodle and stuff and I know it's not going to be a professional piece of art, it's still taking the time to sit down and um, kind of not think about anything else, just like be in the moment. No matter which art medium you prefer, overall the fine arts can allow people to get lost in their work and find that sense of therapy. Paint your anxiety, pour your sadness into it, you know, like, like you, how you feel after a good cry, you know, get it out. If you're sad, show, show me in a painting. So next time you're not feeling like yourself, try to do something creative, such as art to express your emotions. This has been Brianne Bissett reporting for Light on the Hilltop.